Oh man, this is so dangerous. Mr. Donuts from Japan or Taiwan, I don't know where, but they were sent here, sent to us by a friend. This is not good. So while my hike every morning is predestined where I'm going to go, there are little caveats that I leave up to fate. Like, is there a taxi to take me up today? So the first part of my hike up May Road is actually uphill. I didn't really realize this for about two years. And then one day I was sitting here staring at it and I said, you know, I actually have to go up to go up. If the taxi cab gods don't bless me with an open taxi, my second option is the tram. But I usually only get the tram if it's moving and coming up because the wait can be just, well, go on forever if the tram's not running full time. As it is right now, you see the cable's not moving. So that means we have to walk. Ugh. But wait, a savior. All right, uh, Sanden, uh, Sanden Gongchen. Thank you. But, uh, uh, I guess I could have taken the bus. When I get up here early in the morning, the escalators aren't even working. Ooh. If I had taken the tram, that's where I would have arrived. So now comes the big choice. Not whether to take a taxi or a tram, but which way to go. If I go to the left, it's boring and boring, and then it ends with a flourish and a view of the peak. But it's a slight uphill that goes on for a long time. If I go to the right, it's a short uphill, but it starts with amazing views of the peaks, and then it just goes down from there. Or I can just go up following that car all the way to the true peak. But that's another oh, 400 me feet straight up. I don't feel like that. Left, right, up. Left, right, up. I think we'll go left today. Which direction I go actually decides where I'm going to periscope. If I go to the right, I start my periscope early, but then it dies at the bamboo forest. If I go to the left, I don't periscope for a while, I just listen to podcasts, and then I start with an amazing view. Get a lot of viewers, and then they follow me all the way down to my house about 30 minutes later. Decisions, decisions. Sign's actually misleading. It's actually the measurement to another point, not the actual circle. The actual circle is 3.8 kilometers, and the sign only marks out 2.8 on its way down to Hong Kong University. The only scenic bit going this way first is this waterfall, Lugard Falls. The thing about Lugard Falls, though, is if it didn't rain that much, as has been the case lately, well, there's not much water to fall down the mountain.
early in the morning, and it's a strange group of people up here. Hardcore joggers, the street sweeping guy, and myself. I actually recognize some of the same faces every day who are on their morning hikes. In fact, even if I walk later in the day, say noon, I have a noon crowd of regulars that I see. All along this road, there are little exercise places to pull off and do some work. My kids love to try to jump and grab these bars. Many interesting trees along the path. This one's roots seem to have come right out of the ground. We've been walking on Harlick Road, but that continues down to the Battery. Lugard Road now takes over, and this takes us back to the peak. There's about 340 steps here that'll lead you up to the true peak, Victoria Peak Gardens. Not today. This is the dreaded bamboo forest. The bamboo forest kills my signal every day when I'm periscoping. It's very, very thick. It's almost covered. It's also really beautiful. This is the Dragon Lodge. It was built by a wealthy Chinese businessman before World War II. But during the war, it was occupied by Japanese troops who used it as a brothel. Rumors say that a bunch of nuns were raped and murdered here on the grounds, and that their ghost still haunts the place today. As a result, nobody's really wanted to live here, believe it or not. You know what it is? It's the lack of... Pigs are back. So I may come across as swab and debonair and you know chill. <laughs> then again, I may not. But the reality is, I'm still quite a spaz. As you can see from this, yeah, that is me trying to uh, turn on the tub and accidentally turning on the shower. So not the brightest, not the brightest guy on the planet. Anyway, time for pizza. Let's get out. Let's go get some pizza. How about another salmon? All right, if you want one, I'll get it. No, I don't need it. I need one. No, there's another one up there. It's okay, I don't need it. You're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. 